the pick a card, any card trick. So Bill, would you just reach in, pick out any card? When I was really young, I got uh, a magic set from my uh, grandfather when I was five years old. And I remember that because, I mean, that really set everything off. I started doing magic shows in my basement and uh, used to charge $2 uh, for kids to come over, and that lasted about two months. Card with me right here. I know already it's not red, so it's actually black. It's a black card. And I had my first real stage show, paying gig, uh, when I was around 11, 12 years old. And when I was 14, I got a really steady gig. I used to work the Hilton Hotel up in Harrisburg. Uh, now just think of whether it's uh, a number card or face card or one of the popular cards, the aces. After doing that I, I met some of my first celebrities so I kinda got like the celebrity bug and I started doing film TV work and theater work and I, I started going to New York City. Well because they're popular, the aces, I can dismiss them. It's not an ace. I cater my show to celebrities uh, in the city so I mainly just keep busy with that. Even though this is a lovely suite, or there's no queens, or there's no kings here. So now that just leaves numbers. I mean, Gerard Way, Steve Martin toured with Kathy Griffin um, overseas in Asia, and um, James Earl Jones, Al Pacino. So I have a big connection with York, and so that's why I come back every year. I, I always plan to come back for First Night York, which is uh, an amazing event. Is it the Six of Clubs? That's your card, that's your card right there, Ed. My magic shows are based on the fact that I don't like people just sitting and watching. I never like that. So my show is completely interactive. We get the whole audience involved at one point. Out of nowhere, I'll make bottles appear. I'll be doing things with just things that you'll find around the house. And uh, I'll really connect with, uh, with, all, of, with all of them, the audience. It's going to be great.